What's up everybody, Cosmic Titan here. Welcome to another unboxing video by myself. This time I'm going to be opening up, well, as you can see here, Recore Collector's Edition. It's a massive box, it's taking up nearly the whole frame. Uh, it's completely blocking me from the camera right now, so I'm going to move it aside a little bit. Um, yeah, I wasn't expecting this to be as big as it is. It's freaking ridiculously huge. Um, I'd say it's almost the biggest collector's edition I think I've ever had um, in terms of the box size. Um, the only one I can think of from memory that was bigger was the uh, Halo 5 Collector's Edition, which came with the big uh, Master Chief and Agent Locke dual statue. Other than that, I can't think of anything else that's bigger than this. Um, now, you may remember, uh, if you watched my previous unboxing video, Deus Ex Mankind Divided Collector's Edition, uh, I did list off at the end of that video a few other games that I was going to be unboxing when they arrived that I had pre-ordered. This wasn't one that I mentioned because in all honesty I had completely forgotten that I pre-ordered it and I didn't think it was out until October anyway. So it was a bit of a surprise when at the beginning of last week I got an email from the supplier saying your order's being processed, we'll be with you on the day of release, which was this previous Friday just gone. Um, and I was like, well what's this for? And I looked on it and obviously the release date had been, had been moved forward or I just had mistakenly thought it was coming out later than it was. But not a problem, because it just means I get to open it up and play it sooner and uh, put the video up for you guys to enjoy. Um, so Recore, it's a brand new game, it's a new IP, it's not a sequel to anything. Um, it's a futuristic game, I think, not a dystopian future, as far as I'm aware, just futuristic. Uh, you play as uh, this character here, a girl called Jewel, um, and her robotic companion. Uh, I don't really know what the game's about, precisely, I just know that based on the video footage I've seen, it looks really good. Um, apparently it's meant to be really good old, like old school platformer type games, like back on the old uh, PlayStation and PlayStation 2, the original Ratchet and Clank and Jack and Daxter, those kind of games. Um, yeah, as, apart from that I don't really know anything else about it. Um, I did read an re advanced review on it earlier in the week um, from IGN that I follow, uh, and they gave it a fairly decent review, said it was quite a good game. Uh, I'm looking forward to playing it. Um, I think it's, you may not have heard of it because it's not had a very big marketing campaign from what I've seen. I've not seen any advertisements on TV or anything like some games. Um, I think it's like an indie developer but with like a AAA budget or at least it looks AAA. It's meant to be a really, really huge game, like big, not exactly open world, but it's a big sandbox that you play in. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting into this. Um, as I said earlier, it's one of several new IPs um, that's coming out in the near future that uh, I'm particularly excited for. Um, I will go through that a little bit later on at the end of the video just to uh, give you an idea of what other games I may be unboxing and playing when they come out. But none of the others are due out, I think, at least for the rest of this year. So I'll get to that a bit later on. Um, but back to the box itself. Um, for, as you can see here, I've got the game. It's still sealed separately. I'm not quite sure why, considering the size of the box, they couldn't fit this in the box. But it just came on its own next to it. So this is the game itself, just in the regular Xbox Xbox plastic case. Now the box itself, uh, it's not got a specific style and uh, size and shape to it like a lot of the other recent ones that's reminiscent of the game itself, like the Deus Ex one came in the, the triangle box that was kind of the futuristic shape of the game. Um, this one's just a regular square blocky box, but it does have this very nice sleeve on it, which you can see here, which has very cool artwork, I have to say. I, I really like the design. Um, on the front here, you've got Joel, and you've got a robotic companion who's called K9. Um, I think he's got like, this blue orb. He's the actual the robot. He's, he's core. He's like consciousness, and he like accumulates debris and junk to him to form different shapes for his bodies and I think he's got about like seven or eight different forms that he can take throughout the game and there's a few of them on here. You've got the, the main dog form and then you turn it around here and you've got this um, ape form. I'm assuming that these are his forms and they're not enemies, I don't know, they could be. But you've got this uh, ape like robot and this flying one up here. And then on the other side you've got the spider bot over there and uh, this weird kind of like wally looking robot here and then on the back it shows you what's included in the collector's edition itself so I'll just give you a quick glimpse of that for those of you that haven't seen this collector's edition and don't know what's included and I will just 
read up on this. So it comes with the exclusive metal case, um, the Joel and K9 Premium Collector's Edition statue, the Corbot Alphabet decoder dial, and an exclusive lithograph. So all very exciting stuff. Uh, I'm imagining this statue is going to be pretty huge. Um, I did check out a few images of the collector's edition when I heard that it was being released when I got that email and looking at the size of the statue compared to like the game case did look quite big so I was expecting it to be large not this large so uh, let's get in and see how big this thing really is um, kind of a bit obscured here I was going to do this video on the dining table uh, because I don't really have a very big desk to work with here but I figure I'll give it a go see how it goes in fact I'm just gonna I'm going to move this side because I'm kind of, this is blocking the window as well. But the sooner I get the box open, the sooner I'll be okay. Let's open that up there. Move this aside for a second. Here we have the steel tin. You can see here the, the steel book, steel tin case for the game itself. Um, very nice artwork on there, very vibrant colours. Uh, I do like the colour scheme for this game, it's another one. It looks very bright, um, very colourful game, unlike some dull, gloomy games. Um, and the colours are captured very well on the tin itself. Um, I've got a bit of a the light shining on there a bit so you can't see it brilliantly but um, the basic two characters there on the front and then again on the back those different robotic um, shapes so I think that's quite a nice case uh, inside obviously it's empty at the moment because the game's in the original case and I don't believe this comes with any DLC or download codes so there's nothing to have in there surprisingly this is a bit heavier than some of the other cases that I've held and this without anything in it, so um, having looked at it though, just realised the inside does kind of have, I think, a map of the, the entire environment. It's kind of difficult to see because you've got like the plastic covering, which is glossy and reflecting the light. But it does have this map there, I think, of the deserty area that she plays in. Um, right, I'm just going to stand up for this bit. Still here. I am just going to cut this open. probably tell by the way it's fudding on the desk and the vibration that it's quite heavy so I'm imagining this is either a very big or a very solid statue I'm not quite sure what way is the right way up so I'll just slide this off Yeah, so as you can see, this is a very large statue. No wonder the box was so big. And there we have it. There is the Jewel and K7, I think his name was, um, statue. Um, very nice. I actually, I really like this piece. Um, it's not, I was expecting it to be like um, this stony, hard, really hard kind of material. It's still the regular plasticky type that you get for the statues. Um, but it still feels very solid and it's surprisingly heavy for the material. Um, 
very nicely detailed. You've got the robot, it's got some scratching on there. Um, the desert ground, obviously, that the game takes place in. The wind blowing, we've got her like um, scarf blowing in the wind there. Uh, the rifle she's holding. Um, yeah, I think it's, it's a really nice statue. I do like this, it's really good. Um, will be a nice piece to put with the rest. Uh, a bit too large for me to put out at the moment because I'm running out of room. So most of the stuff that I'm unboxing now is going straight in the loft until I've got more space. Um, don't think those goggles come off. No, I'm not sure. They look on the back like they were separately attached. Um, got his antennas there. Glowing orb in the centre. Yeah, really good statue. I do really like this. Um, then in the box here as well, what was called the... Um, called again this was the alphabet decoder dial so let's pull this open as you can see here that's the dial it's larger than I thought I thought it would just be the size of like a large coin but it's actually quite big and this bit spins here it's got um, what's it got in there it's got different letters, like it's got the alphabet in the centre. You can see that when when it spins, you can see there's the alphabet underneath. I'm not quite sure what this is for, what it does. Um, originally when I saw the image um, for the collector's edition, I thought it was just going to be some kind of coin that would be currency in the game. But um, being a decoder dial, I'm guessing this may have something to do with hacking the robots or the, um, the dungeons that she's in or something to do with that some kind of tech that she's going to be holding so um, so that's the decoder dial I will see if I can stand that there and then we've got the case obviously the game I'll stand them up in a moment once I've got the last piece opened up and here we have the exclusive lithograph in a protective envelope, of course, to stop it from being scratched. A very action orientated pose there. Got Joel riding on the back of a robot with all the other forms included. Um, very, very nice piece. Camera's a bit uh, not too good, considering it's supposed to be HD, so it might not be too clear. But there it is, that's the the lithograph. So if I put that, look, I don't think I'm going to be able to stand this up to be honest. If that will stand there, yeah, there's not enough space on the desks. I told you, it's not a very big desk I'm working with here. But there we go. That's the uh, that's all the items in the collector's edition. Um, overall, quite an impressive collector's edition. Um, nice surprise for me, as I said, because I'd forgotten that it was coming out. Um, Statue is large, very large. I wasn't expecting that size. Um, again, that's just going to have to go away for now because I've got nowhere to put that. Uh, really nice piece of artwork. Um, I think I'd say give it like a, a seven and a half out of ten, um, mainly because of the lack of an art book. Um, most of the collector's editions do come with even like the mini sized art books, like what was in the Deus Ex one. Um, I do love seeing all the artwork and the production drawings and all that kind of stuff all the detail and the um, design that went into the game um, but even so this is still a lovely lithograph here just the one image but that picture would be really cool especially given the type with all the designs of the robots um, very simplistic designs not like very detailed like the transformers or anything like that or all the small moving pieces it's very basic blocky design but it's nice I think it's it compensates the, the style of the game rather than being all the detail it's just very simplistic and um, Sometimes less is more, so I think it looks very good. Um, again, the case itself, the steel tin case, I think that's great. That's a lovely case. It's very vibrant, very nice colours. Um, surprised again that the game come with the steel case and a regular case. Don't usually get that, but not a big deal. Um, so yeah, apart from the lack of an art book, I think it's a great piece. Obviously, you've got this companion piece as well. Um, don't know again, like I said, I don't know what that does, but. Uh, it's cool, it will just stand there with the statue when I eventually put it out. Um, so yeah, that is the 
Recall Collector's Edition. Um, stay tuned on the channel, and when I start playing it, I'll get some gameplay footage up for you all to watch. Um, now, as I said uh, earlier, just before I finish off, this is one of several new IPs um, that was announced from E3 this year or last year. This one was last year. Um, there's a few others coming out, which I'm really excited for as well. Horizon Zero Dawn, another like um, futuristic one with robots in. Uh, looks really good. That was announced, I think, last year. Um, I've got the collector's edition of that pre-ordered, but that's not due out until February, so got a while to wait that. In fact, all the games I've got pre-ordered, that's the furthest one away for now, so that's in the in the near future. Um, another game, Scalebound, which I'm really excited for, and I'd love it if they did a collector's edition of that, some kind of big statue of the dragon. I think that would be pretty cool, so I'm keeping uh, my eyes out for that one. <coughs> uh, and what was the other one? Um, Detroit, I think, is it Being Human or Becoming Human? Something like that. Um, I think that's based on, uh, not based on, but made by the same people that made uh, Heavy Rain and Beyond Two Souls. I think it's them, I'm not sure. It's similar to that kind of game anyway, with like your decision-based um, storytelling. But it's based on how the uh, you know it plays out based on what you do in the conversations and the actions you take. So um, I'm really looking forward to all of those games, and two new games that they announced this year at E3, just gone a few months back, was uh, Death Stranding, um, new Kojima game. If you're a Metal Gear fan like me and you love Kojima stuff, really excited for that. It's got um, Norman Reedus, I think is the main character, who plays Daryl from The Walking Dead, who was originally going to be in Silent Hills um, that Kojima was making with Guillermo del Toro, but that fell through, and I'm guessing he's stuck with him and he's now going to be in the next project. Don't know what it's about, very mysterious, ambiguous trailer, but it looks very good. I'm very excited for it and to find out what more about it. Um, and then there's another game called Days Gone, which I think is like a big open world zombie apocalypse game. Don't really know much about that other than what I've seen. Uh, and again, that looks really good as well. So all games that I'm going to be pre-ordering, um, and especially if there's collector's editions, I'll be unboxing. Um, and it's quite it's refreshing to know that there's all these new IPs coming out as opposed to just sequels after sequels. I've got no problem with sequels, especially the games that I love. I love getting more. Like I've got Gears 4 coming out next month, Mass Effect Andromeda I'm really looking forward to. Um, but it's still nice to have new games coming out, and they're all the newest brand new IPs that I can think of. There may be others, but they're the ones, the main ones that I'm looking forward to. Um, so yeah, um, the last thing that I had to say was... As I said in the last video, I was originally going to put like a schedule on my YouTube channel page with a list of all the unboxings I've got planned. Wasn't able to fit that all in, but I'm going to be making a Facebook and a Twitter page for my channel. And on there, I am going to put the schedule, put any updates, any new games I've got pre-ordered, all the news and all that kind of stuff. I'll be keeping that up to date as much as possible. So if you are interested, the link will be on the channel as soon as I've got it available. Like that, follow that. Uh, see how that goes and that will give you all the information of what's to come on my channel and the things that I've got in progress like games I'm playing or planning to play things like that and what you can expect to see in the near future from myself Cosmic Titan so I hope you've enjoyed this video I hope you've been watching and enjoying all my videos so far there's a lot more to come obviously it's just starting out um, everything will get better I'm hoping to get a better camera eventually and a better mic so the videos will be a lot clearer um, but in the meantime, please enjoy the gameplay. Um, obviously, I've just started Deus Ex, uh, and now I've got ReCore as well, so I'm going to be a bit, you know, deciding which one to play. Um, but I'll be getting all the video up there for you all to watch. So if you've enjoyed this, if you enjoy my gameplay, please like the videos, please subscribe to the channel, please leave comments, share it with your friends, um, support me as best you can, and I will bring out much more for you in the future. So thank you for watching, and I'll catch you all next time. Thank you.